started to discuss about a new game that I purchased because the original game that I chose for this course was not available for sale anymore. In this lesson we'll cover the replacing process of the cars for the game. We are going to replace the original cars with the ones that I purchased from Graphics River. There are also some music files to be replaced but I leave that to you. I'll show you how to replace these files in another lesson. So here are the four cars that I'm going to replace in this lesson. And here are the new cars that I purchased from Graphic River for this purpose. The original game that I used for this course has contained all the cars in a single file as a sprite sheet. In this game, each car is contained into its own file, making the job a bit easier to reskin. As you can see, the dimensions of the new car's images are not the same as the original images and this is an important aspect to keep in mind when replacing images for the game. The new cars are 250 by 250 pixels, while the original ones are 100 by 189 pixels, so I need to resize the images a bit. Let's open up the first new car image in Photoshop. Next I'm going to open the original car image also, just to compare these two images. As you can see, the space around the car in the original image is much smaller than the space in the new car image, so I will click on the select tool and will drag a selection around the car. Next, I'm going to copy this selection and will then create a new file. It's important that the new file background is transparent, so the space that surrounds the car will not be visible in the game. The dimensions of the image are not relevant right now as we will resize the image to the desired dimensions before saving it. Then I'm going to paste the copied image of the car into this newly created file. I'll just align the car in the center of the image and then we'll resize it. The size of the new image has to match the size of the original one, which is 100 pixels width by 189 pixels height. We'll click OK and we are ready to save the file. Again, the file type of the new image has to match the file type of the original one, so this will be PNG in our case. I will try to replace the original image file with the new one, but make sure that you have a copy of the original image available in case you want to switch back if you are not satisfied with the results. I get an error when trying to replace the original image because that image is already opened in Photoshop, so we'll have to close it first and then we'll try to save it again. This time it saved successfully, so let's see the changes in our game. I'm gonna run the game in my emulator and uh, voila, the main car of the game has been successfully replaced. It looks really good. I repeat the steps to change the other three cars with the new ones. I'll start with car 2. Open it in Photoshop, drag a selection around the car, copy it, create a new file and then paste it. I'm gonna center the car in the image and will resize it to 100 by 189 pixels. Next we'll save it by replacing the car 2.png file. Next is car 3. One thing to notice here is that while car 1 and 2 were facing the top of the screen, 
Cars 3 and 4 are facing the bottom of the screen. We have to keep that orientation when replacing our cars, so we'll need to rotate the image before saving it. I've opened the car tree that PNG file in Photoshop, select the car, paste it into a new file, resize it and before saving the file, I will use the image rotation and will select 180 degrees in order to make the car face the bottom of the screen. We are ready to save and we will do that by replacing the original car tree that PNG file. For the last car on the list, let's use the red Ferrari. We'll open the file in Photoshop, select the car, paste it into a newly created file, resize it, rotate it and save it as car4.png. Job done! We successfully replaced all the 4 cars, so let's see how the game looks like. Here we have the player car and then the enemy, which collides with our car. Unfortunately, I can't see the other available cars in the emulator because I'm unable to tilt the virtual device in order to steer, but I will show you how to run the game in a real device in few moments. But before doing that, let's explore the other graphic assets that you might want to replace or modify. This contains some main menu items, icons for sound and music, and some other items like trees or stones. You can of course replace the main street also by editing or replacing the street.jpg file. But before concluding this lesson, let's add one more object, a new enemy car, to our game. You can simply add a new object to the game by following the included documentation. In my case, I want to add the yellow Lamborghini as an enemy vehicle. We'll start by preparing the image file to be imported in the game. That includes selecting, copying and pasting the image into a new file, resize it, rotate it and finally saving it as car5.png. It's important to notice that we save all cars so far right in our game's resources folder, which is res slash drawable, otherwise you will have to copy or move the images into that folder. But adding a new object to our game is not just as simple as replacing an older object, as we did before. We'll also need to get our hands dirty by writing some code to actually integrating the new object into our game. But don't worry, the code is well commented in the documentation and not complicated at all. Let's open up the documentation and see how we can personalize this app. All the necessary code will go into the surface.java file. First step is to go on line 79 and increase the size of the obstacle image array by 1. We do this by pressing Ctrl plus L on the keyboard and then entering 79 as the line that we want the cursor to go. In this line we are going to change the new bitmap from 16 to new bitmap to 17 as we add a new item to our game objects. The line numbers of the code could be slightly different from the one in the documentation as we made changes through our code by adding or subtracting new lines of code. Next place to edit is write the next line. Here we are going to add a new item called new car in our case and giving it the next value available which is 16 for us. On the next line we'll enter the points that this item will give to the player when colliding with it. I will just enter 10 here 
but you can experiment with these settings to better suit your needs. On the next line, we are going to enter the speed for this new object, or new Lamborghini car in this case. Being a fast car will give it a speed of 40. And the final line to edit here is the lane that we want the object to appear on. This could be 0 for the left grass, 1 to 4 for the lanes and 5 for the right grass. In our case I want the car to appear on the rightmost lane which is 4, so I will enter 4 here. So far so good, but we're not done yet with the code editing. Don't worry, we'll be soon. Next line of code that we need to add is located after line number 148. So we'll press again Ctrl plus L to jump to that line. This is the code that actually loads the images from the resources. By the end of this code I will add a similar line that will load my new car image into the game. I will do that by duplicating the last line and then modifying the 15 into 16 and the name of the file, which is car5 in my case. Ok, and the last thing to edit is located at line 571. Here I need to insert my newly created object, which is called new car, after the last element, but before the curly brackets. And that's all we need to do in order to add a new object to our game. Last thing that I want to discuss about is how to run the game on a real device. Because the BlueStack simulator is not able to use tilting, or at least I wasn't able to find a solution to this problem, I will run the game on my phone and will record the screen. In order to do that, we'll get back to our command prompt and ADB. Please keep in mind that in order to be able to use ADB to record your screen, your device has to be running at least the Android 4.4 version or KitKat. By typing ADB devices, you'll get a list of the available devices connected to the computer, which are able to be used as emulators or even real devices like phones or tablets. In my case, the phone that I'm using has the IP address of 192.168.1.138 and this will be used to test the game this time. The command used to record the screen during the gameplay will be ADB shell screen record followed by the location to store the video file which is SD card slash recording that MP4 in my case. After trying more options, I managed to finally start the screen recording on my phone. The problem was that I had to specify the actual device that I want to use for the screen recording, as many devices were currently connected to my computer. Next I will run the game and will select the LG Nexus 5 device from the list, which is my phone in this case. And here you can see the capture from my phone. By starting the game and playing it a bit, we can observe the yellow Lamborghini car appearing on the fourth lane, which means that we successfully added the new object to our game. I hope that you enjoyed these two lessons, the cars will now continue with the original game discussion, but I hope to update it completely using this new game in the upcoming weeks and add more interesting lessons to it. Thanks for 89 pixels so I need to resize the images a bit. Let's open up the first new car image in Photoshop. Next I'm going to open the original car image also, just to compare these two images. As you can see, the space around the car in the original versions of the new car's images are not the same as the original images 
and this is an important aspect to keep in mind when replacing images for the game. The new cars are 250 by 250 pixels, while the original ones are 100 by 100. I started to discuss about a new game that I purchased because the original game that I chose for this course was not available for sale anymore. In this lesson, we'll cover the replacing process of the cars for the game. We are going to replace the original cars with the ones that I purchased from Graphics River. There are also some music files to be replaced, but I'll leave that to you. I'll show you how to replace these files in another lesson. So, here are the four cars that I'm going to replace in this lesson. And here are the new cars that I purchased from Graphic River for this purpose. The original game that I used for this course has contained all the cars in a single file as a sprite sheet. In this game, each car is contained into its own file, making the job a bit easier to reskin. As you can see, the dimension